Hey guys, Brotherhood Arms coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be looking at this Smith & Wesson revolver. I noticed uh, when I was checking online we didn't have any revolver videos, so I wanted to make sure we put one out. This was all clear, ready to go. I'm going to put one out so y'all can see some of our revolver work. This uh, Smith & Wesson revolver was done by John in his, during his time at the Murray State College when he was doing his education there. And it uh, came out really, really nice. Let me show you some of the features that we have on it. Of course, this is a Smith & Wesson. It's a 44 Magnum. And it's the model 629-1, I believe. Of course, this was the backpacker version. It came in stainless steel. It's got the 2-inch barrel. One of the first things John did was uh, basically sandblast the thing because with stainless steel guns, first off, they're shiny as all get out. But any kind of scratch just shows up like crazy, but now it has a nice matte look to it. And you still get all the benefits of having a stainless steel gun. Don't have to worry about rust or anything like that. So it's a really, really, really good look. I really like it. Uh, some of the options that he did on this was he crowned the barrel. Came out real nice there. Nice smooth ro roll and everything. He uh, also installed uh, Trigger John Night Sights front and rear which came up really nice, gives you a really good sight picture there, which you can see. Um, of course, as looking down the sights, you see the hammer is bobbed. So you don't have any obstructions in shooting it, and came out really good. Uh, of course, he polished the trigger as well. Smooth and polished it, so it's really nice. Get your finger in there and go to town on it. Uh, of course, it does have a trigger job, which as you can see here, it uh, of course we cleared the gun earlier so we know it's safe, but here you can tell the, the action of it. And it really came out nice. I mean, it's, uh, it's almost like glass, as smooth as the action is that he did it on. It came out really nice. You see here the bobbed hammer on that. And when you do the single pull like that, I mean, it's just like you just br almost breathe on it and it pops. And... We were out shooting a while back ago, and he was hitting about 100 yards just nail, nailing boards with it because, I don't know, it's just, it shoots wonderful. It's effort, effortless to shoot, even though it's a 44 Magnum, which is uh, amazing. One of the other things he did here is he, uh, on the lockup, he uh, added the little dimple there. You know, he drilled the frame, added the little dimple there to kind of help, you know, keep the lockup a lot tighter. Usually on the Smith and Wessons, they only lock up up here on the yoke, you know, right here inside there. So you get kind of a little bend, a little bit of a, a wobble. And this way it keeps it pinned there and pinned there, which keeps it very, very tight. Uh, one thing that's nice that we always like about this is that it came with the whole grips, but it's got the nice Smith and Wesson logo uh, in the grips. As you can see there, so that's kind of a cool feature, but that. That came from Smith and Wesson, not us, but very nice. But I just want to give you all a quick look at that, uh, the revolver, and you know we do do revolvers along with our 1911s that we love so much, and anything else that uh, you need done, we can usually pretty much take care of for you. So if you have any questions or you need some revolver work done, don't hesitate to call us. We'll uh, take care of you. Uh, for now, that'll be it. Make sure uh, you check out our Facebook and our website for all the latest. And uh, until then. We'll see you next time. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.